Hey guys, so we're continuing on uh, rigid body motion in this example we're looking at acceleration up a slope. Our example involves both vertical and horizontal acceleration because it's going up a slope there is a component in the x direction or in our case y direction and in the z direction so following this axis system here uh, we've been told that it accelerates up a 25 degree slope at 4 meters per second squared and we've been asked to find the angle theta of the fluid surface so that's the angle theta down from the horizontal position so we need to uh, separate our acceleration up the slope into vertical and horizontal acceleration so here we got we've got four meters per second squared acceleration up the slope we've got our slope angle of 25 degrees so we've got a z here a y down here and we just use uh, sine and cos to find them so we'll have a z equal to 4 sine 25 uh, which equals 1.69 meters per second squared uh, a y will equal 4 cos 25 which equals 3.63 meters per second squared uh, we know that dz on dy equals negative a y on a z plus g and in this case both a z and a y are zero because we have acceleration up the slope we just found those um, so we'll have negative 3.63 on the top a z is 1.69 plus 9.81 and that reduces down to negative 0.32 uh, so we know that the, the acceleration equation here uh, relates the fluid acceleration to the surface of the fluid so uh, the surface of the fluid has gradient according to dz on dy and gradient is given by tan theta and that equals dz on dy so uh, dz on dy was negative 0.32 uh, tan theta will therefore equal negative 0.32 and in we, if we inverse that we'll get theta equal to negative 17.5 degrees from the horizontal so looking back at our example that's 17.5 degrees down from the top which is why it's a negative value okay guys so that's it for now we'll see you in the next video